Hello everyone and welcome back to the main story questline here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick, I'm one of your hosts alongside Desmo Mono Lightning Ong. Desmono Lightning Ong. Oh, oh. That? Ah, good. Good, good, good. good. Yeah, sounds but good, then good. The, the, the problem is Joshua is also Lightning. But then Joshua's really? nickname is my uh, Lightning is my waifu. Yeah. No, no, no. There's only one. There's only one. There's only one husband, man. Oh That's man, me. oh man. That's oh, me. Oh, fight, fight, <laughs> fight. Oh, this one is good. This one is good. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, okay, we are watching the match here between Anthony and Daryl. So this is the finals. The winner of this will get. Uh, well, both of them get three packs. Yep. Uh, the the prize payout. But uh, the winner of this will get the uh, the cane promo. Yeah. And the nice cane promo. promos. Wow, it's nice. It's very it's nice. nice. It's yes. very very pretty. Uh, okay, so. Looks like Anthony is playing what Mono Mono Earth. Yeah, Mono. Is Earth. he going back to Wow? He's going back to Mono Earth. That's interesting. Uh, and Daryl here is playing Mono Lightning. Yeah. And incidentally, Anthony warned me just now. Oh wow! Yeah, I was playing okay. Mono Lightning. Oh okay. Oh. All right. So, <laughs> oh okay. So right. you think you basically you think like Anthony has the edge. Um, I would say that it depends on certain cards. Okay. The key cards will be uh the Vincent. Okay. Yeah. Maybe let's bring out Vincent. Yeah, yeah. Vincent is Vincent is crazy powerful. Uh, we didn't show him earlier in the in the the game, but uh, Vincent is crazy powerful. Cannot be broken by opposing summons or abilities that don't deal damage. So you got to deal damage. Yeah. Odin doesn't do it. Uh, you Idea doesn't like, do uh, it. Yeah, Idea doesn't do it. You got to go like onion night uh, what i'll say onion night yeah. or i'll say rig or uh what's the other what's the other combo? basically it would be this uh lc combo is the best way to uh, deal oh, with it lulu as well yep. if so he's playing Fusuya, lulu. yeah Fusuya, yeah lulu Correct. but i don't think like a lot of people so people have have uh you know uh started or stopped playing lulu why yeah. is that why why do people you know not play lulu in the in the uh in their mono lightning deck Huh? Oh, oh, I just want a lucky draw. Oh. <laughs> hey, dude, they should be giving me the promo for for doing it. anyway. Uh, <laughs> I will recommend that the the staff give you the promo. So, uh, hey, come on, man. Uh but yeah, you just want the lucky draw. You lucky, lucky dog. You oh, know. come on, man. I. <laughs> what are we? What is this? Well, it has been a good week for me. It's yeah. a good week. Uh, you been, you uh, won. Uh, I won the previous event somewhere else, oh, and okay. I three zero the other event, but oh, I got okay. second. Oh, you got second oh, all yeah. cause of the uh, tiebreakers but you still got the cane promo anyway yeah so second what one the hell? yeah <laughs> wow, scrub still can minji minji uh, fighting words man what wow, scrub still can win oh man right. and desmond Sung saying stop it stop yeah that's it, my Des. my good my good bro Des. yeah the other desmond yeah the yeah. other desmond uh, uh Yauza saying they should be, ha be happy to have another stream yeah i can't focus on two two chat groups at the same time so <laughs> if you want just come on down to our facebook page facebook.com slash gray ogre games uh anson saying walk back dollar yeah it's yeah. all rigged it <laughs> is all rigged oops yeah uh but yeah we were talking about vincent vincent's really powerful ability here is death penalty so you can discard another Vincent, pay five generic crystals, and choose as many forwards as you want with a total cost of seven or less, and then break them. Finish. Yeah, it's the, really powerful. It's very powerful. And the um, the most irritating ability is actually the first one where it cannot be broken by the summon or yeah. abilities. That's that's what makes him like really really powerful. So you play Vincent and then you play Yuffie, and yeah. then Vincent becomes like a nine thousand, which then becomes a little bit harder. Yep. Uh, not impossible to break, but just a little bit harder, which, uh, you know, it's, it's hard. It's, yeah. it's, hard. it's quite significant in this matchup, yeah. to be honest. But however, if the Mono Lightning is playing this um, x Death, yeah. which is a uh, favorite nowadays. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it this one? The Grand Cross x Death? Yeah. Yes, the Grand Cross x Death. Oh man, when x Death attacks, all characters' opponents lose their jobs until the end of turn. Okay, and this is significant. Why? Because there's this card called Bards. <laughs> and Bards basically, you know, if you were thinking that you were going to block with the Bards, no, x Death's going to say no. Yeah. Uh, but his second ability is what you want to be playing when you play this card. Uh, and it's Grand Cross. So you discard another x Death and you pay 7, uh, seven uh, Lightning Mana. 
and it might cost a lot. It might seem a lot, but you know it's okay because once you get your backups online, like it, it's not so bad. Remove all characters on the field other than X Dev and all cards in the break zone from the game. Basically, you wipe the entire board except for uh, except for X Dev. So yeah, this is significant because uh, it's another way to deal with Vincent. Yeah, and you have only X Dev in play at the end. Yeah, and and, and then yeah, and then that's it. You crazy. have this nine thousand character. How am I gonna deal with a nine thousand character? Uh, it's probably you don't, and you you just die. Yeah, you know? and uh, you can see that the Vincent has already entered the board under Anthony. Yeah, uh, with the UFI as well, so it's both nine thousand. Uh, that uh, what's this? If, is that fleeting flash? No, no, that it's a uh, simulacrum, the fake Gilgamesh. All uh, uh, right, fake the Gilgamesh. one that can deal damage. Uh, so gonna get rid of the ooh. Okay, Seymour. Probably Seymour, the Yuffie. Yeah, it has to get rid of the Yuffie because it can't touch the, uh, the Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. yeah. The Yuffie is a very good cut in this case because it makes the Vincent attack with Brave, mm. and uh, it allows the Vincent to attack and defend. Yeah, it's very good. That's the yeah. I mean, like nine thousand is not easy to defend against in this. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the mana game, like I think. If you hit 7,000 is good, uh, 8,000 is the standard. That's why, you know, cards like Maria are, are very powerful in like the Earth, uh, Earth Wind deck. Uh, sorry, the any Wind deck. Yeah. You know, especially Earth Wind deck and then you have a uh, guy. Oh, yeah. then it becomes very, very tough. Very big. And uh, there's another cross under Anthony's board, which means oh, that it's actually 10k just now. It was 10k, yeah. Yeah, it back, it's back to 9k now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, oh, no Raban. Oh, oh my God. Raban's gonna get rid of the uh, simulacrum. Simulacrum of I don't know hero. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's, it's uh Danny Sia saying, "Wow, this X Dev make everybody jobless." Yes, that is correct. He is uh, akin to maybe a tr uh, you know. I don't know some of our politicians, <laughs> some some politicians <laughs> out there. Okay, I'm not gonna say who, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take away your jobs. Don't give you any jobs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good uh, good comparison there. Right now it's um gonna be a headache for Dara. Yeah, with regards man. to the Vincent, it's so wow. irritating. I tell you, it's very irritating. Uh, can you get rid of him using a using a uh, Zalera? Uh, using an Exodus? No. Ah uh, no. no, right? Because no. it it so the difference between Exodus and Farmfrit is Farmfrit says you move them from the field to the break zone yes. you don't break it you basically mm. sacrifice a creature whereas uh, Exodus says break a creature yeah. full stop okay and Yuffie uh, is back <laughs> yeah Anthony is going to get that Yuffie back and Daryl here maybe take the opportunity to take back the Alcid so mm. that if he draws an Onion Knight he will be able to get rid of that uh that very pesky Vincent. That depends on whether Anthony has another Vincent because he can uh, use a death penalty. Yeah, that's and, the problem. And yeah, tap so in response. That's yeah. that's the big problem, and that's why yeah. I think you know Anthony. That's why he decided to use the Seraphi to get back another uh, you know another forward, yep. and then set it up for the the Vincent play uh, next turn if Daryl yeah. goes for the Elsid. Yeah. And wow, Daryl has just a chock full of cards in hand, but setting up for X Death maybe. Uh, for likely. Wow, it's crystal yeah. intensive. Yeah, it is massively crystal intensive. Yeah. Uh, you probably have to cast the X Death and you know, and just be able to to fire off that turn. And I think that's important. Yeah, you will need uh child crystals as long as well as two X Death. Oh my goodness! <laughs> How many cards will How there many be? Cards <laughs> will, will be? Okay, so maximum maximum you have five cards on the battle. Uh, five. Backups. Uh, backups. In this case, I think it, it makes sense because he uses three, discards a card, and get X Dev. So that, that mm -hmm. means that you need two cards. And then for the X Dev trigger, another three cards plus the X Dev. Yep. So that's four. So you need uh, seven cards total. Uh -huh. Maybe that, he has that's it. That's a bit tough. Yeah. I think he has seven cards. Oh. All right. So LC, okay. So he fires off the LC, uh, uh. gets rid of a black mage from his hand. Oh, that's a titan. Oh, okay. So, respawn, I'm going to titan. It's a very good card because it will dial the Vincent. And yeah. for Daryl, he cannot put another forward in play. The, he can't? He cannot. Because the second ability will be... Re um, you'll miss the trigger. Oh, right. right. Yeah, it because fizzles, he can only target yeah, fizzles, uh, yeah. a dial forward. Uh, uh, forward is uh, not dial. Yeah. So... 
<laughs> yeah, but that's a that's an interaction I think uh, a lot of us miss because else it has the unfortunate restriction that it has to be an active forward, and yes. uh, yeah, sometimes we just miss that and unfortunate, you know. Sometimes it just doesn't doesn't work. Uh, Danny is saying law twelve crystals and two x def. Yep, yep. We calculated that should be uh, seven cards. Very hard to get seven cards, which means that in the last turn you needed to have like a full grip of cards and not do anything. So Fusoya here going to kill that Yuffie. That that honestly very irritating Yuffie, but maybe Anthony's gonna save it. Let's see. Maybe he uses the monk. Ah, uh, yes, there's a monk. The question is whether it's worth it. Oh, all right. Okay, so he just saves. Uh, he just you know plus one thousand is a plus two thousand the Yuffie. With so the he golem. played a uh, what, what what card is that? Golem. Uh, is it? Oh, golem. Yep. Oh yeah yeah. Titan and golem. Titan and golem. And Gollum is uh, choose one four against plus two thousand power until end of turn. And if it was blocking, it gets plus four thousand power until end of turn. So yeah, pretty sweet. And it's got EX burst too, so not bad for one mana. Like it's it's not bad. That's uh, the, yeah. That's the problem with the Mono Earth deck uh, is that it has many cards that can um actually save their creatures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. And that's that's the the annoying part of it. I mean, even if you're not playing the mono of deck, like, uh, if you're just playing normal like Earth X deck or yeah. Earth Wind or Earth Earth Water, Water, oh man, can be so annoying. Especially, you know, when they have like it. Sometimes they just have uh heart removal, like the mono the 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 Earth deck just sometimes just has heart removal like Rauban, uh like Mask Woman, Atomos, uh Atomos, you yeah. know, so just. Full out, just or kill your thing, die. Oh, oh he gives up. Wow, he gives up a Vincent to cast the Levita. Uh, probably has more Vincents in hand, I suppose. Probably. Never know. Ah oh, man, what's Daryl's best move here? He's facing down. Well, his Exodus is not going to be very useful. His Exodus, in fact, uh, going to be even worse for him. But he does land a Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. The common version. Yeah. Gilgamesh. Which is not so useful in this uh, situation. Why is it useful? Why is it that useful in the situation? It's not that useful in the situation because uh, it's only having a body of seven k, and it's no nowhere near the power of uh, Vincent at this point of time. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh whoa. Earthquake. <laughs> uh, Gilgamesh, the the morphing time yeah. is actually quite useful. Uh, doubles its power, gains first strike and brave. And then can attack twice the turn, so uh, can be used as a uh, comeback mechanic. Unfortunately, it gets uh, it gets taken out with uh, the the death penalty there. Wow, Anthony here. Uh, sorry, Daryl here has to do something, and it looks yeah. like he's gonna cast a a uh, Exodus Exodus for five. Rid, yeah, it's not not, uh, not a lot of value here. Yeah, but. Uh, well, it's going to be hard for Daryl to come back from this. He's already taken five points of damage. He needs to cast a creature just to chum block. He does have the ex uh, the Odin, which can help to get rid of the Seraphi. The Seraph, Seraphi. But it's not so useful. And and the fact is that Anthony here might just have some form of removal to get rid of the of the Onion Knight. Uh, and this is worrying because if Daryl here takes some damage and if Anthony has instant speed removal like Atomos then Daryl loses the game okay so they trade no they don't trade okay I'm going to reduce your power by 3000 I don't know why he didn't do it with the uh, oh no he couldn't yeah the Anna Cross yeah. Okay. Uh, it looks like Anthony here going to sacrifice that uh, uh, the monk to to trade. Oh, it's gonna search for another Vincent. Another Vincent. Nah, I think more Vincents. Uh, you search for the Yuffie, I think. FF seven, right? It gives you ah, yeah. a seven character. So I think you search for the Yuffie and just drop the Yuffie, and then next turn, 
uh, go for it. Yep. Yeah. So he does and passes the. Well, this is the. I mean, that's the value play. That yeah. is the the massive massive value that's play. That's true. Here. Uh. Oh, and he and doesn't draw anything, and that's the game. Right. He no draws another Gilgamesh cross. match, though, but uh, a bit, little too late. Really so in this matchup, the Vincent is very key. Yeah. Very key. Uh, wow. Vincent is... Uh, Vincent against, uh, let's say, like a mono... Like the the, the water wind deck, not so good. Yep. Against uh, another mono earth deck or against another earth X deck, not so good. Against yep. fire, especially, definitely not good. But against lightning, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Especially, you know, that's the thing. Like, that's... I, I really wonder why people have moved away from playing Lulu's in the li in the lightning deck because it pairs so well with Fusoya. It pairs, uh, yeah. It, it itself is a very good card, you know, and it, to deal with it is able to deal with a lot of things except for Minwoo. That's right? true. Yes. Actually, even if uh, Minwoo is in play, if let's say you can manage you to can get off a Daga. special Tanaga, yeah, then you can still uh, manage to deal a large amount of damage. Yeah, but that's very rare. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing. Instead, people are playing the other Lulu, which you know gives all your lightning characters plus one thousand. I, I suppose in this uh meta game where there's a lot of mono lightning decks, it might be better to play the uh three cost Lulu. The yeah, the yeah, plus, to give you plus an 1, 000, edge yeah. over other uh, lightning characters. That's true. Correct, because yeah. if it's uh, playing if you're game, if you're playing like the mirror, right, yeah. then it'll be a bit too slow to be mm. honest. Yeah, that's why I feel. All right, uh, we are we have come to the end of the night. Thank you for joining us, everyone. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember that you can catch the stream every Tuesdays, Wednesdays for Magic the Gathering, twitch.tv slash Ogre Games. On Fridays, we now have Final Fantasy. Looks like I will never get to play Final Fantasy ever again. I can comment it and you can play. Uh, but okay. I'll be a poor commentator. Yeah, I, I know. That's, that's, that's my worry, you see. It's not like I'm the best uh, or anything, but I mean like... I know. You know. Yeah, uh, you're still the best. Yeah, as, no, as long as, as long as it doesn't feel like I've gone deaf. Because uh, there was there was uh, other streams that I was watching. I was like, right? Oh, did I did I like go deaf? Is the audio working? And I spent like <laughs> I spent three minutes trying to figure out. Hey, is the audio working? Uh, and, and and it was so it's kind of strange. Anyway, uh, if you miss it, go on down to our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash games, Watch all the replays for Magic and Final Fantasy. Uh, you know, head on down to our website, greyogregames.com. Find out more about us. Come down and play. And I think that's uh, that's really you know the the whole point of like board games and card games. Just have fun, man. Yeah. And last but not least, do listen to our partners at power9podcast.com. All right, we're gonna call it a night. Thanks, Desmond, for joining me. No problem. Uh, I want to thank uh, Joshua for joining me as well. Both of you need to go and pitch it out, fight it out. Like who's who's Lightning's waifu? Oh, uh, who is? Yeah. Mine. Yeah. Mine. 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 All right. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night. Thanks for joining us. Thank See you. Guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye.